There's nothing more validating than bonding with someone over something obscure. Now every nerd knows Sailor Moon and Pokemon, but when you find that friend who woke up at 6 in the morning to go on the same adventure as you before school, that's when you know they get you in here. So without further ado, here are 10 of my favorite adventure cartoons that are awesomely obscure from the 80s and 90s. GoBots. I had no idea that this was not Transformers as a kid, yo. Listen to the plot synopsis. There was a species of intelligent alien robots that came down to Earth to fight the evil Decepti- Renegades. They were called Renegades, yo. There were more differences between McDonald's french fries and Burger King french fries than there was the GoBots and Transformers. They were the exact same shit protected from Hollywood or that Michael Bay film is coming pretty soon. Macron 1 also known as not Voltron. Macron 1, surprisingly enough, came out before Voltron, and it was one of the earlier anime that were mech warrior types to gain some traction in the United States. The plot was pretty straightforward and it was dumbed down from its original Japanese version, but it didn't matter. It has stunning visuals and I didn't remember how I was gonna end that. Captain Bucky O'Hare. <clears throat> no. Captain Bucky O'Hare! Captain Bucky O'Hare was the original green gangster from another dimension who came to fight other planets that had koalas and toads and berserker baboons, but the toads were the evil muff. Captain Bucky O'Hare went hard down to the original theme song that was the with his catchphrase, let's croak some toad. James Bond Jr. James Bond Jr. followed the adventures of James Bond's nephew, not his son. James Bond Jr. worked on an international organization that fought against scum. He did it all in style while he rescues a girl, as the theme song reminds you, because this was the 90s and we had a long way to go. King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. Picture this, the pack are down six and Aaron Rodgers scrambles for a touchdown, makes it to the end zone, hits the discount double check, falls into a portal with the whole Packers offense, meets Merlin and becomes a knight. That's basically the plot synopsis of this shit, and it was great. Arthur had a sword, Arthur had a shield, Arthur had a dragon that came out of that shield, so did Lancelot and so did everyone else to help them fight the evil Queen Morgana. This cartoon was dope. Conan the Adventurer. Conan set on on an adventure to save his entire family that had been turned to stone. He came tooled up with his sidekick Phoenix named Needle and his faithful steed named Thunder. It was a great cartoon that took a character that could normally be seen as sort of brutish and uncharismatic and unintelligent to someone who had a great moral compass and was actually quite complex. Conan was actually far better than had any business being. Mighty Max. Now I hope it's a mistake to add Mighty Max to any obscure cartoon list cause I swear to God Mighty Max was my man. Mighty Max came through busting a sag in baggy jeans. Mighty Max had the bitty cap tilted at the perfect angle that he would use to travel through portals my homie. He went through portals to fight zombies. He fought zombies with his mans in them. He had Norman who was the muscle behind him. He had Virgil who was a little man who was coming behind him who was a chicken. Nope, he would duff your ass if you called him a chicken. He a foul. Mighty Max, little did I know at the time, was catching a whole lot of flack from adults who thought it was a little too graphic and a little too dark. Because really, spoiler alert, everybody started dying in Mighty Max. It was basically George R. R. Martin for kids. Anyone who knows Mighty Max, family to me. Exo Squad. Exo Squad was a cartoon set a hundred years in the future that took scientists who created a new race of humans called Neo Sapiens to help us populate other planets. Neo Sapiens served as slaves, and they were meant to withstand harsh conditions. Then, due to their maltreatment, they started to rise up. And the entire cartoon is about humans surviving and destroying the Neo Sapiens. And how was I not offended? Street Sharks. This was so awful, we really couldn't look away. You can almost imagine their boardroom thinking, hey, if turtles can sell this well, imagine what we can do with a bunch of sharks. The main problem was every one of the four sharks were exactly the same. They were pretty much the earliest iteration of dude bros right before our eyes, but we still called them by their trademark name, Jawsome. Mummies Alive. It starts with a Western archeologist traveling to Egypt and reading a tomb that says, woe to he who opens this seal. And all the Egyptians warning him, nah, you don't want to open that. It's cursed. And he goes, yo, my president is Trump and my privilege is white. And he rips the seal off that <laughs> And the mummies, they come alive. So there you have it. 10 of my favorite awesomely obscure adventure cartoons from the 80s and 90s. If you haven't checked those out, many of them are available on YouTube and on Netflix. If you have seen them, comment below on which ones are your favorite and why. 